back to another episode of VTune. So in the last episode, we did get the roof cut off and the egg pillar section, but unfortunately, we are still waiting on the roof to come in from the place we ordered it. So in today's episode, I wanna go ahead and get this car started. We did get some new oil lines from Dodge. So we need to get these replaced and put the oil cooler on and get this bad boy. So another little pro tip for you guys, always make sure you fill your oil filter full of oil before installing it. So we got the oil filter on and put the drain plug back in. Now let's put the oil in. All right, so we got the oil changed. Now this is the moment of truth, because as you guys know, the car did have a busted oil cooler and all the oil ran out, so let's try starting it. Running really good right now. Got a couple of lights on the dash, but that's expected because everything's taking apart. So the 
car is running really good. There's no knocks or anything. Also want to check, make sure nothing's leaking. Everything looks good. Can't really see it there. Alright, so we got the car started. Now I want to get this thing moving. So we did buy a new rim and a new Pirelli P0 tire. Let's go get it installed. Alright guys, so I'm at the tire shop right now. The guy who actually works here, he's on lunch. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this tire myself. All right, so we got the tire back from the tire shop, but before I go to install this tire, I need to take this rotor off. O'Reilly's actually sold me the wrong rotor, and the only reason I bought this cheap rotor was just to make sure my caliper was good. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and put this tire on. So it is the wrong rotor. I did order a two-piece rotor that will fit. All right, so everything up front is done. We are still waiting on that rotor. It's gonna take about a week and a half to get here, but it is nice that the car is on the ground. So if we do have to move it, it's gonna be really easy. Everything up here looks good. We did order a colder intake also, so that should be in here next week too. The roof, we did order a used roof because the dealership could not get one. I called several dealerships and all of them were out of stock and on back order. But that's enough up there. Let's check out the rear bumper. I want to go ahead and take it apart. Make sure there's nothing damaged underneath here. It doesn't look like there will be anything damaged under there. But it would be nice to just take everything apart. See maybe if there's anything damaged. So if I have to order something. Let's get to it. So we got the bumper off and unfortunately there is some damage under here. Check that out. It doesn't look that bad and it looks like you can just straighten it all out from the back. So we probably won't have to replace it, but it is going to be a lot of metal work. 
Kind of sucks. I wasn't expecting that. All right, so that's a wrap for today's video. I know we didn't get much done, but we did get the beast running and we got it on its wheels. Unfortunately, we are still waiting for the roof, so that's why we couldn't put that on. And we also did discover some more damage in the back of the car right here. I'm guessing it took a little bit of an impact, so we will have to be putting it on the frame. But there's a car on there right now. So that's a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed this build, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. Thanks for watching.